a kid and you'd go to the movies before the main feature you'd get a bonus feature it'd be a little short little video um, that would be just there to sort of fill the space um, until everyone showed up and took their seats um, typically cartoon or something um, these days it's all filled with commercials but today we're gonna put our time machine back back into the 60s and what we're going to do today is a bonus feature Ooh, bonus <laughs> in any case be pretty short here um there's been a lot of talk on the um forums about hooking um basically sticking paper clips or um, clothespin wires into that jack on the side of your tra trailer and a little piece of aluminum uh, off of it to uh, get some local you know, digital TV signals over the air. Um, that works, but I got to give you a little bit of warning and we're going to do something about that today. This is the connector that's on the side of your trailer, right? It's a little plastic box. But if you and, and this you know this guy this is just a typical um, extender for your cable TV you know this plugs into the TV this plugs into the wall but take a look if you can at how small that pin is right there that's what's intended to screw in here that's how that's supposed to go if you stick um, a clothespin wire in there or a, a bobby pin or even a paper clip you're going to bend the little pins that are inside this and this will become flaky after that so i want to give you an option for that it's a great idea if you're camped local to a city um, it's a great idea to have a little antenna out there so what we're going to show you here is something you can do in five minutes and it's basically free um, i know that all of you have at least one of these sitting in a drawer um, this is just a, a little spool of that cable stuff that connects your TV. Um, so what you want to do, you want a piece of this. You need two tools. You need wire cutters and you need a tape measure and you need some electrical tape. So first things first, what we're going to do is we're going to make what's called a coaxial dipole antenna for those TV signals. And it'll screw on the side of your trailer. It'll stick out about, about 10 inches or so out of your trailer and work much, much better than any tin foil thing you're gonna work out. And better than that, it won't damage this connector. So let's get at it. First thing you need to do is you need to measure out sixteen inches. 16 inches of your cable. Take your cutters and cut it. There's part of your antenna. This you could make another antenna out of if you wanted to. Use it in your home, <laughs> whatever. Okay, so now we have a 16 inch piece of, of cable. The next thing you want to do is you want to, from the end that you cut, you want to measure six inches right there. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to take these cutters and I'm not going to cut all the way through this thing. I'm just going to nip around the perimeter here and I'm just going through 
that outside black cable. And I'm being careful, just the black insulation. I'm being careful not to get through, not to damage the interior, okay? Then we're gonna pull on this and pull that off. So there you go, see that? Um, we have, I've just slipped off that insulation. The whole wire is 16 inches long. This bare part is six inches long. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this and you see how I can push that braid, that insulated braid, I can turn it inside out on itself. See that? See how that is? There's the plug, there's the insulation, there's the stuff that we just pulled backwards on itself after you've pulled that braid back. <clears throat> One quarter inch from, from where this uh, joint is, right? You know, where we nip through the insulation. One quarter inch to the right. We're gonna take and we're gonna clip through Clip through the through the insulation, but not. We're not going to go. I want to twist. See, we're not going to go through the center wire. We're just going to go through the insulation. See how I can twist that? And watch. Now I'm going to pull this center insulation off the wire. Pretty straightforward. So here we've got the connector. We've got the cable, we've got the braid, we've got a little six, um, quarter inch of the, the um, foil sticking out and six inches of wire. That's basically our antenna. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my electrical tape, I wanna wrap this with electrical tape, I'm pulling it down, pulling it tight, I'm going to wrap this with electrical tape just to make it neat. So let's start with that. And we just pull it down tight. And then we just start wrapping. Really easy. I'm going to go round and around and around. And I'm just about done. And we're going to go and just cover this whole area right up like that. Just to make that, just to make waterproof. Okay, that is your dipole antenna. So I can back up from that a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to screw that into the side of the trailer. Like that. And that antenna is going to stick up and you'll be amazed. I live about oh, a little over 35 to 40 miles away from the biggest city and I get about four stations. <laughs> really cool. So let's go uh, plug this in and give that a okay, shot. Okay, so this is my trailer. It's nighttime out here, but there's our antenna. And here's the side of my 2015 Tab Max S. Here's the little plug. My trailer's in shelter right now, so just lift that plug out. Push this guy on. And there we go. Now you can see how that antenna just sticks up. There's the top of it here going down. Just let it come out from the trailer, just in a nice arc like it is. Um, no big deal. So let's go on into the trailer and get with the Jensen TV and its remote and show you how to set this up. I'll watch a little bit of TV. Okay, we have the antenna hooked in the back. Here's my Jensen TV. First thing you wanna do is on your remote, you wanna press TV. Then you wanna press the green power button and the TV will come up. Okay, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna set up the channels. We're going to first press menu. We're going to then push the right arrow until it gets to channel. And you see where it says air and cable. I'll push the up and down till we get to air cable. Our choices here are cable or air. We're gonna choose air, right? 
Um, we're going to hit and we're going to scroll down to where it auto scan. Click on auto scan and we're going to push start to scan. Now what it's going to do is it's going to go through and it's going to search all of the available airwaves and find channels and tell you how many it found. It's going to take a while, so we'll stop and uh, I'll bring it back up when we've got some. And there we go. Piece of cake. I have four channels. And when we look outside here, look at where I live. I am out in the middle of nowhere. Um, Spokane is about 50 miles that way on the other side of that mountain. That antenna works pretty well. Um, I wouldn't be able to tell you that it'll work everywhere, especially if you're out in the boonies, but uh, works pretty good here. Um, play with the direction of the antenna, you know, it goes up or down or left or right, because that antenna that we've made is directional. Okay. And this is the antenna that we made. I want to give you a little heads up. This is a directional antenna. So just so you know, you want to point this basically toward a city. And it's not like that. If the city were in front of me, we would want this antenna like this. If the city were off to my right, we'd want the antenna to be this way. If the city were off to my left, we'd want the antenna to be this way. Basically, we want the antenna to be perpendicular to uh, where the city is. So if the city were out in front of me, we'd want it this way. If the city were this direction, we'd want it this way. But this thing works pretty well, considering where I live out here. Um, we're about 50 miles through the trees and through the mountains um, to the nearest city. And I'm getting four stations with that. It's not bad. Won't work great for you. Um, way out in the boonies. I'm about at the limit about where you want to be. But uh, should work if you're close to the city. Anyway, have a good day.